Good morning from Morelia. This is incredible and we're looking forward to exploring. time in the city or coming from Aguas Calientes where we just celebrated Dia de los Muertos but we are noticing the remnants of the Dia de los Muertos celebrations here which is so cool they've got like hanging garlands with these marigolds I mean marigolds <laughs> <laughs> and lots of different ofrendas and various types of things we don't even know what exactly they are but it's kind of interesting to see a celebration of death die in and of itself <laughs> and be cleaned up and refreshed and the city is being cleaned up right now. It seems like there was a lot going on here right in the central yeah. area of Morelia. It's still pretty gorgeous but they're taking it all down today. time we've spent in the city since arriving last night has been in Centro and I seriously cannot stop staring at this gorgeous cathedral. We're kind of just walking around it in circles like yeah. trying to get over the like oh my gosh it's so pretty. It's incredible. <laughs> I've spotted a Jordan in the wild with some tamales. Let's see how he eats them. I have to eat them right now. See, see you guys. Good. Will he eat the banana leaf or will he take it off? This, we shall see. What is this? Like, how do we even get this part? Okay, here we go. It does look like a lot of work. <laughs> so these are supposed to be typical of Michoacan. Uh, Michoacan combination plate, and I didn't realize I was getting all tamales. <laughs> this is my first ever gordita. They make it with maiz, which is corn, so it doesn't have gluten, which is why I can try it. Usually I think they're made with um, wheat flour. Also very typical, apparently, of Michoacan, so... How much like was a, it? Oh, 81 pesos. It kind of tastes like a sope, like your average sope. <laughs> we just got to our Airbnb here in Morelia where we have this nice gated area to park the car. We have a space reserved for our apartment. Up a couple flights of stairs and to our place. This door is unlike anything I've ever seen. You have a door handle in the middle and it opens over here. Oh, and that's a dog. Alaska, stay. Stay. And then coming inside, this is our little loft part apartment that we're staying in in Morelia. Super cute. The place conveniently came with a husky and this cute guy. And really fast internet, we're so excited. Very close to Centro, just a quick walk over there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be staying here for eight nights and then it comes out to like just over $200. We always like to look for places like this one which had a 20% weekly discount. Thank you to everyone who's used our Airbnb link to sign up and taken a trip. That got you a credit and also gave us a credit, which helps us afford places like this and to travel more and show you more of Mexico. If you haven't yet signed up for Airbnb, we will put that link down below in the description so you can get a little bonus for your first time. restaurant in Morelia. It's next to Jardín de las Rosas, I think. Rose and Garden. Rose Garden, yes. <laughs> and I got these corundas michoacanas, which I think are like tamales. And then it also comes with costillas in this delicious red sauce. What are costillas, for those who don't speak Spanish? Uh, like ribs kind of thing. So I'll give this a try. Okay, well this sauce is amazing. It's a little bit on the mealy side as far as tamales go. How much was your plate? 93 and it included orange juice, coffee, and a plate of fruit. After 
dark. Dark, Someone... dark, dark. <laughs> da -da -da. Someone told us that there's going to be a light show on the cathedral tonight. Thank you, amigo. Since we've been a little bit swamped with other things, we had no idea what's going on with the events in Morelia right now, especially since Dia de los Muertos passed. We were like, oh, that's a big holiday. Um, but whatever this is, there are a lot of people that came out to see it. So many. So this light show must be a little bit of a bigger deal than we thought it was. Señoras y señores, muy buenas noches. Esta es Primera Llamada. Les damos la más cordial bienvenida. Esta es Segunda Llamada. Nuestra maravillosa, la más hermosa de todas. Nuestra Catedral de Morelia. So what we were told was a light show it was actually a firework show. That was a shock to me. A I was total expecting shock. lights on the side of the building. Yeah. Um, so I felt at one time while filming something burned my hand, but I thought, how crazy! No way a firework would be like shooting into the audience. <laughs> no, there was definitely lots of fireworks and lots of explosives shooting right into the audience. I mean, this is probably like 30, 40 feet away from us. This is the closest I've ever been to fireworks going off yeah. ever. This is so funny. Everyone wants to pet Laska. <laughs> Laska, so much bitches. <laughs> Laska's a celebrity. <laughs> such a cool fireworks show because it was next to that gorgeous, gorgeous cathedral. And did you see them moving the lights on the cathedral towers as the show was going? Yeah, with, with the music, I think. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. But what might be cooler was what happened afterwards with Laska and Jordan picks her up and then it was like everyone on their way out of this show <laughs> wanted to pet her. Alaska has never been in such bliss, I don't think, as getting that much attention. Her ears were tucked all the way back. Her tail was wagging the whole time. <laughs> oh, that was so that was cute. Awesome. <laughs> I couldn't stop smiling. <laughs> now we're walking back to our Airbnb. Uh, it's pretty, it's late-ish for us, but it's pretty early. All the bars are opened up now and I'm starting to feel like there's this whole like uh, other world of Morelia that we had no idea existed except on the weekends. <laughs> try as many Michoacan and Morelia things while we're here. One of the things that's been recommended so many times is gazpacho and I thought this was a soup, like a hot soup, but I think it's something to do with lots of fruits and maybe like hot sauce or salsa on it. And someone told us it has onions, but I think they were mistaking jicama for onions. Which so I love jicama. <laughs> it sounds like Maddie will be able to have this. Yes. Okay, let's see what this is about. 
¿Cuáles ingredientes contiene en gazpacho? Esa es piña, jicama y mango. Okay. Lleva jugo de naranja, sal limón, chile en polo, vale. ¿Qué precio tiene? 35. Muy sí. picante. Con no, chile. no pica tanto. Es po pica poquito, pero está bien rico. I really hope I don't have a Rudolph nose right now because it's so darn cold. But we're in this little corridor next to Centro is right there in the Morelia Cathedral. There's like six gazpacho places, so we just picked one, but yet another example of different style of competition of <laughs> businesses in Mexico. Okay. I was expecting sweet and spicy. I just got spicy. <laughs> No sweet at all. Let me dig down in here. You didn't get sweet from the pineapple no, or anything? No, I didn't get any sweet from that bite. Okay, I think your tug is broken. <laughs> okay, that one I got some pineapple. Good stuff. Very unique flavor. All right, so this is 35 pesos for this gigante vaso. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know what I think this tastes like, but I like it. Would you get it again? Hell yeah. <laughs> I love jicama and lime and chili and... I was worried that it was going to have onion because they were chopping onion right there for something mm -hmm. while we were waiting, but it turns out that was for a potato plate they were serving. I'll just take this. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop right now. No one gets hurt. <laughs> oh. Okay, Jordan, we've been in Morelia for like two weeks now. Has it been that long? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like that, but yeah. What are your thoughts? We haven't put out a whole lot of videos here. When we got here, we were trying to get caught up on videos. The city is amazing, really aesthetically pleasing. It's super easy to understand the locals here speaking Spanish. So that's that's nice since we're trying to learn. How about you? What do you think? Ugh, well, that, ma <laughs> that gazpacho made my nose run. <laughs> a little on the spicy side after a while. So as Jordan said, we, although we've been here for almost two weeks, we will only be putting out two videos, this being the second solely about Morelia. I feel like we should probably tell you guys why that is. It's mostly my fault because I'm dealing with mercury poisoning right now, so whenever I run out of some vitamins and then start them up again, I start having really bad detox um, symptoms, like having an achy body similar to when you get the flu and you just feels like it takes a lot of energy to do things and then similar symptoms like that, so that's sort of derailed our hopes and dreams of seeing Pátzcuaro and seeing Sunsan and all like the neighboring Pueblo Mágicos so that might mean we need to come back but it's gorgeous the cathedral the architecture it's super clean here someone pointed that out and Milik it is always really clean the drivers are pretty respectful the mass transit the colectivos or co combis or something someone said combis they're yeah. called but I think that's awesome buses are the worst <laughs> Uh, loud and stinky so uh, the pro oh, and the prices we didn't really go into that very thoroughly low low prices here it's a very very affordable city I don't know if that translates into um, housing as well like rent costs and bills and things like that but as far as food and entertainment and um, getting around the city really really affordable prices so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to. Gong that bell! <laughs> so you get notified the next time we put out a new video. And we will see you there. <laughs> <laughs>